there, hello there, hello there, it's Jeff Perry, Dabby, welcome you to round four coverage of the 70s 10s tournament from Scottsdale. Webb Simpson has a big three-shot lead over Lon Hinkle with Hale Irwin, Lou Graham, and Jerry Hurd coming up. Simpson trying to win this event. Runner-up, remember, if you're a runner-up, you actually get benefit of the doubt and get into the, get a second chance at the end of the year, if it all happens. So anyway, Webb Simpson trying to get, well, the winner gets a spot into the year-end tournament at Augusta automatically. You could still go for a second tournament win, but, you know, <clears throat> that's just overkill. But anyway, we are going to take a look at the final two pairings of Simpson, Hinkle, and Erwin Graham and see what happens. Kucher. Be funny if Kucher can actually pull it off again. Justin Thomas, a front nine of 600 par, so he's been pretty well. Blank as a pair of birdies to start. Another birdie. Cleve baseball fan birdies on one. Well, he's going to try to spoil the party. Eagles, oh man, he's chasing. Minus six on Thursday, minus four Friday, minus four Saturday. He's number four right now in greens of regulation and 16th in putts. A little bit to the right. Lou Graham, minus 13. Fourth in fairway percentage this week. 12th in greens, four, uh, regulation, 14th in putts. Minus three on Thursday, minus four Friday, and a six under par yesterday. Same thing. Oh, he bogeys. Do you want that to happen? All right, here comes Graham. Up it over. Nice job, left center. Nice job, hell over. Ooh, a little bit to the left. 
flip it over. Oh, Graham. Simpson in the lead. Number one in putts regulation. Minus five Thursday, minus seven on Friday, minus six yesterday. That's that. Lon Hinkle. Number one in sand percentage, 13th in putts. Minus four on Thursday, minus six on Friday, minus five yesterday. Much. Simpson. What's that? Tinkle. Tinkle up and over. Nicely done. Simpson for pretty. Nope. Tinkle for part. Not gonna get it. Looking back to 14. Simpson for car. Got it. He knew he was going to do it. So, just a reminder that after the night, after the ninth hole of Simpson and Hinkle, we'll go back to the leaderboard and check a look. Move <coughs> Graham down the right side and up. To the left side, into that bunker. Shot. They'll go in the native area. For an angle, but it's there. Roman does that. Graham? Oh, too much. You'll have to get out of that bunker. That's not really the best shot selection by Graham. Or the luck. Graham? That's the par. Scrambled. Where went for Brady? Got it. So he goes 14. Simpson at 18 under. Starts off going side center on the fairway. You go a little to the left. 382. Up it over. Yeah. Simpson. Simpson on three. Uh oh, no. Right side. Simpson, second shot. Might as well let up. It is a part five, so you don't have to attack it. You can't find the ankle. Well, he'll be a long ways away and he'll probably lag it to save Birdie. <laughs> Simpson does that. 15 feet away. Eagle. Smart move by Hinkle is to lag. Simpson for birdie! Oh, close so. though. I'll take part any day. Hinkle for birdie? Yeah. <laughs> Just a 14 under par. Hell Irwin. The left side. New Graham. <laughs> to the left side. Wow, that really dragged a lot. Ryan Irwin hits the bunker, 
Graham. Up and over. And not bad. Up and close, nicely done. Graham for par. So the blue brewing should be able to get par. Ankle up and ooh, I bet he hit the bunker, but no. Simpson, that's a bunker. And he'll get close to the pin, so he'll get a par out of it. On Hinkle, trying to curl it. So I think that's a par, which it is. Lovely, that's a par. Two baseball fan birdies on 13, so he's at 15 under now. Irwin on six to the right hand side. It'll hit the rough. And Graham to the left. Up and over. Okay. Graham. For Birdie. Okay. Ankle for birdie. Got it. The 15. Simpson should be a little bit far. He does. On a seven. And over, he'll have. Well, I think that's better than putt. The up and over. Graham. Another birdie on 15, so now he's at 16. He'll have to birdie 16, 17, 18 to catch Sim Webb Simpson. Irwin, left center. Nice and done. Blue Graham. Whoa. That guy has been hitting that native area like what, four times? Or is that three? Probably just three. But he's hit it a lot. Irwin. And close to the pin for Graham. Yeah. Hell Irwin. He's close to the pin. Graham for part. Got it. Hell Irwin for part. Got it. Here's Webb Simpson, the leader. Side up and he'll have a long putt. Ankle. We'll have a shorter putt, I think. Not by much. 
Simpson will lag. Smart move because you are in the lead. Inko wants to go for birdie. Ah, he misses by a few feet. Fair part. Johnny Miller forced to make birdie after some bogeys. Include baseball fan bogeys, so he probably won't take the lead. If you're wondering if Queen Baseball Fan will usurp his way into the top two, probably not. Well, well, into the lead. Of course, there are a lot of golfers still out there. Graham, up and over. And he gets a lot of Dance floor. <gasps> Irwin. Same thing. For Brady. Simpson on eight. A little left, but whatever. Hinkle. Oh, he's on that other near that other um hole. And also done. Hinkle. Well, he'll have a tough shocking rough. And is he close? Ah, close ish. Ten feet for birdie. Puts it, Webb Simpson. He's not playing Hinkle bogeys. He's not playing around. Webb Simpson wants to win, knowing that the back nine could screw him over. Irwin, uh, I guess we can do Irwin and Graham. Irwin, even par for at nine. Birdie on three, bogey on one, and Graham spoken on five. Everything else has been pars. Kind of is good, in a sense, because, you know, you don't want so many bogeys. Graham. Up it over. A little bit off putting. Erwin. He'll make a chip shot. Erwin, is he close? Can't be a little bit closer. Graham. Close to the pin. Erwin for part. So just a reminder that after Simpson and Kinko finish the ninth, we will go to the leaderboard and see how everything's doing. Oops, he's a divot. Say it with me. Divot, divot, divot. Kinko to the center. Up it over for Simpson. Oh, bunker. That one little place. Kinko. Go back. Nope. I did it. Simpson comes close. Nico will come back to it. It's with your par. Simpson misses the bogey. Good thing for that par. Thank goodness for that. What is it? He's at 19. Cleve baseball fan. Well, there's 15 under par for Jordan Speed, who had a 64, 7 under par. JC Sneed and Jerry Hurd are there too, but they are still in the course. So we'll see. Baseball fan par, so he's at 15. Mike Hill Eagles on 15, so now he's at 14 under par. Mike Hill's trying to make a move. So, right now, as it stands, it looks like Speed and Cleet Baseball fan will be tied for second. In the case of a creative golfer, time for second, he loses because you gotta have to, you got up Sneed and her just Brody. So, Sneed and her are only three strokes back. The good news for Simpson, in a way, is that he has holes in hand. On those guys, you know, view them so he knows what he has to do in a sense. He's gonna have a long shot, Graham. Bunker up and over. Is he close to the pin? Yes, he is Irwin for birdie? He's gonna go for it because he knows 16 under par. Graham pars and Irwin. Because you gotta try. Simpson and Hinkle. Minus one for Simpson. Birdies on two and eight. Bogey on nine. Hinkle has had four bogeys and two birdies. So it's been basically hit or miss. Two birdies, three pars, and four bogeys. Simpson. Nope.
both of your shots. Get close to the pin. Okay. And Hinko will be close. So he'll get a par for sure. Simpson makes his par. He needed that in a sense, knowing that he's three strokes ahead of those guys. If you can just keep playing pars, you should be able to look out. Ooh. Irvin was looking like he was gonna hit the drink. Graham doesn't. So he's on the green. Hell up and close. Yeah, that sounds okay. Graham for birdie. For par? Nope, Irwin missed. Graham will get part out of that too, so, yep. Hunt 11. Pinko to the center. 312. Webb Simpson to the right side. Second shots. Simpson will chip up for maybe a par. Pinko. Pinko. Oh, a long shot. Simpson says he'll putt. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Pinko for Brody. What a shot. He has a slow chance, but he got it to 14 under par. And Simpson will par. Graham on 13. First of the two par fives. Right in the middle in that native area. Now Lumen avoids that area and will go around. Second shot. Yeah, bunker. Graham. Yeah. Second shot. Third shot, sorry. And Graham will get on the green for a birdie putt. Erwin. Okay. Same thing. For a birdie. Erwin. Yeah. Anyway, on 12. Part 3. Hinko looking right at it. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see if Simpson can do the same thing. Well, I think he's okay. Yep. Should be about 12 feet. He puts it in. Good chance. Hinko should be able to put his in. And yeah, puts the birdie in. Maybe for second place, but that's who. Here we green triple bogey, so... He's nowhere there, but Simpson's at 20 under par. Graham to the left side, hit the rough. Irwin. To the center, nicely done. Second shots. Up and close. Ooh. Irwin. Long putt ahead for Brady. Ah, oh, you almost had it. Graham. Overshot. Back, middle part. Alright, long hinkle. On 13. Avoid set trap area. Jeff Simpson does the same. Although, not a lot of distance. Second shot. Kind of lay up. Hinkle. Into that bunker. Simpson. Third shot. And no. They'll have to flip up to save a par. Hinkle. That was poor. Off the club. And it was that. Web Simpson. Goals. For par. Take this. Simpson should be able to make his. He does. He makes his par. 1 to 15. Graham will go right center. Irwin. And he splashes into the water. You can tell he's not going to have a flat life. He's pretty spokonomic. Graham over the water. Oh, it went to the left. Irwin, I think 
think he was trying to sh make it short. It didn't go short. No, it didn't. Urban does that. For par. Urban for devil? Ah, he'll triple bogey. Another par five. Well, it is waterlogged, but still. Webb Simpson, 20 under par, trying to create some magic. And move on to the tournament. Sorry about that. Yeah, I know, I know. Anyway, Hinkle, Webb Simpson. Simpson wants to putt. I would lag. Yeah, I would lag if I were you. Because, you know, you've got to take the lead. And go for birdie? Nope. Go far. Yeah, I mean, Simpson knows he's got a few holes to play with, but you never know. And oh boy. Yeah. Oh well. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Erwin? No drop back a little bit. Nice job. Graham, well, he's too far out. He might as well cut. Hey, he puts it in. Unbelievable birdie for Lou Graham. Urban for birdie? Nope. No par. Up sets in on a 15. The question on my mind is, will he go attack it or not? the bunker. Simpson? He wants to attack it. Oh, he made it. Well, I think that's going to ice it, maybe. And Hinkle does that. Simpson for Eagle. He's going to be two feet, get the birdie, and go to 21 under. Hinkle? This is at 18. So JC Sneed with an 18 under par with a 6 under 65 is second. And I think that's pretty much Gabe's set match. Yeah, that's pretty much Gabe. So JC Sneed. So Simpson will have a three stroke lead with three left on JC Sneed. So Simpson could just play lazy fair pars and get himself a match. The tournament. JC Sneed will take second place. And Grab does that. Erwin? Pretty good. For Birdie. Ooh, went a little too much. Erwin puts down his Birdie. Web Simpson knows he has a three stroke lead with three to play. All he's got to do is just make pars and he's safe. Well, that's a good shot. Onto the greed and. Hinkle. Yeah, 18 is second place. Simpson for Birdie. Ah, he purposely made it that close. Hinkle will make his Birdie go 15, which isn't bad. Yeah, Birdie 17, 18. Best he could do is 17 under par. Urban does that. And Graham goes into the bunker. Urban? And Graham, Graham of the lob. And I put it. No, I thought he had it in. Urban for Brady. Ah, rules. Cars. So if Grant finishes at 12 under, Urban at 11. Hinkle and Simpson. Hinkle, oh wow, he points the bunker. Nice shot. Web Simpson, does he put the bunker? Oh, he drives the bunker. He drives the hole. How did he do that? Yeah, he'll lag it. Hinkle for birdie? No. Simpson will put this out of reach. So Webb Simpson 
Dale win the tournament for the 2010 flag. J.C. Sneed will take second place. Not a bad job by Sneed. He'll have at least have a chance. Or second chance for the, well, he could still win a tournament. Like, you're still allowed to win a tournament. Ooh. Pinko went wide right. Simpson. Knowing he doesn't need much. Mikey knows. But he makes the par to win by four strokes. Unbelievable. Pinko will double bogey. And a great 467 by Webb Simpson. He didn't have to do much. He actually didn't have to. A couple birdies here were was just enough. Simpson could have had a few, only like two birdies and still won. So that's it. It's over. And JC Webb Simpson wins the tournament with a 67. He finishes 500 par, 700 par, 600 par, 400 par. So he had a four, five, six, and seven. When you think about it, JC Snead takes second at 1800 par. He's got the, that runner up spot in case he needs it. Third place goes to Jerry Hurd of the 1970s at 1600 par. Jordan Spieth, Cleve Baseball fan, Lee Trevino, Tom Weisskopf, and Shane Lowry all hit 15 under par, so they all tied for fourth. Cleve Baseball fan, great job in his debut. Taking a tie for fourth. And no, he did not take top two. Justin Thomas, Tony Jacklin, Charles Cootie, and Mike Hill end up finishing the top 10. And, you know, Matt Kuchar had a 300 par, so Kuchar tied for 13th after winning last week. So he wanted to win again. So, yeah, so Webb Simpson is your champion. J.C. Steed takes second place. So good job by Webb Simpson. He didn't have to do much, but he needed a few birdies, and he got the birdies he needed. And that's all there is to it. Anyhow, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.